it in figure 9.6 to obtain a DC voltage of 0.1 voltage at each of the trains of Q1 and Q2 when VG1 is equal to VG2 is equal to 0 voltage. Operate all transistor at VOV is equal to 0.15 voltage and assume that the that for the process technology in which the circuit is fabricated, VTN is equal to 0 0.4 voltage and mu and CX is equal to 400 microampere per voltage square. Neglect channel length modulation and determine values of R, RD, and the W over L ratios of Q1, Q2, Q3, and Q4. What's the input common mode voltage range for your design? Okay, so we have to do all these things. We have to find R, RD, W over L ratios for all these transistors, and also the common mode range. Also, we have to find. Now let's go ahead and do one by one. So first, if we start with R, R you can see in the circuit that's right here, and here we have a voltage provided to us, 0 0.9 voltage, and here we have the current also available. Uh, we don't know the resistance R. Uh, we also don't know this voltage right here because if we have these two voltage, finding the resistance is easy because we can create a uh, create a current equation using that. Whatever the current through this should be equal to this voltage minus this voltage divided by the resistance in between. If you create the equation, so let's say this is ID4 because uh, if we call this one ID1, ID2, ID3. And this one we can call it ID4. ID4 should be equal to um, this voltage right there, that is VDD minus this voltage, that is uh, we can say VD3. VD4 actually, because the MOSFET is 4, so VD4 divided by the resistance between that is R. So if we rearrange this one, R is going to be equal to VDD minus VD4 divided by R and uh, VDD is available 0 0.9 voltage and VD4 is the voltage right here and we don't know that so we cannot try this because we had to find the voltage there. So VD4 is whatever the voltage in the gear because if you see this is a diode connected, so if there's a voltage here, that is the exact same voltage we're going to have right here as well. Okay, so if we find VG, that is the VD, VD4. But we don't, we also don't know the VG, but we know V over drive. Now let me use a different color. We know V over drive to be 0 0.15. And uh, this V over drive is nothing but VGS minus V threshold okay <coughs> uh, v throughout salt is available to us that is the vtn right here that is 0 0.4 voltage so we can solve for vgs from this vgs is v over drive plus vtn and uh, v over drive is 0 0.15 vtn provider is 0 0.4 so we end up getting 0 0.55 for vgs and this vgs is nothing but vg minus vs if you find VG, that is the VD4 because these two are diode connector. This is a VD4, this is VG, the same equal because it's diode connector. So if we solve for VG, then we are almost done. So here uh, VGS plus VS should be equal to VG. Then uh, VGS we found out with 0 0.55 and VS is whatever the voltage in the source. In this case, they have provided negative VSS equal to 0 0.9 voltage, but we are interested in the VS that is positive 0 0.9. So I put that one right here. So if we do that, then we end up getting Okay, the VS I had to keep up with the negative as well. VGS is VG minus VS and then this plus this. Yeah, so this one is negative because of the negative sign here. This is negative 0 0.9 here.
Okay. Let me double check. Zero point. Zero point five five we got for VGS. VGS is nothing but VG minus VS. The VS voltage we are having is zero point nine. Okay, so we are getting we are going to get a negative value for this negative zero point three five. Okay, and then we have to substitute that one over here. VDD is readily available. That is zero point nine. Zero point nine, and then that one minus this voltage that is negative zero point three five voltage right here voltage divided by okay this one is if you range this is divided by id4 okay the what of the current here that is 0 0.1 milli here and if you calculate this value you will end up getting 12.5 kilo ohm resistance okay that is our r value the next thing ask us to find out is RD. Let's see how to do that. So here, if you see RD, similar pattern. We have VDD available. We have. We want to know the current here, and if you notice, this current here is zero point four, and they have mentioned VG one and VG two are equal to zero voltage. So it means whatever the current here and here is going to be equal because VDD is same, RD is same. So it's going to be the equal current flowing through this and coming to this so according to kcl these two currents should be adding up to 0 0.4 since this is equal this is going to be 0 0.2 each side okay so we can say id1 and id2 are equal and that is 0 0.2 milliampere id1 is equal to id2 which is equal to 0 0.2 milliampere and we have the volt uh, we have the current available uh, if you have this voltage available then we can solve the rd straightforward and also in the question if you see that's mentioned to obtain a dc voltage of 0 0.1 voltage at each trains of the q1 and q2 so the train voltage is already there that is 0 0.1 so we don't have to find the potential vd1 and vd2 is equal to 0 0.1 voltage so we can find the resistor straightforward because if you look at the equation, this voltage minus this voltage divided by the current, uh, div divided by the resistance in between should be the equal to the current. So if we create the equation for the current ID1, ID1 should be equal to VDD minus VD1 divided by the resistance in between, that's RD. Therefore, RD is equal to VDD minus VD1 divided by the ID1. And VDD is already there, that's 0 0.9 voltage. And VD1 provided to us that is 0 0.1. I avoid the unit for now. And then ID1 is 0 0.2 milli. So this is like 0 0.8 divided by 0 0.2 milli, that is like 0 0.4, actually 4 divided by. A milli that gonna end up being four kilo ohm resistance. Okay, now we have found out the RD value. The next thing uh, they are asking for us to find out the W over L ratio of Q1, Q2, Q3, and Q4. And we know that uh, Q1 and Q2 are forming current mirror. Current mirror mean equal current. It means these two are matched. This width over length ratio is matched. So if you find width over length ratio for Q1, that's the exact same thing we are gonna have Q2. So we can find the width over length ratio by using the current equation. Let's see that. So the current equation for the train current is given as ID is equal to half mu and C X W over L V over tri square. And uh, if we want to find for the id1 then we have to just put this on id1 and this is w over l1 
okay others gonna be the same so if we consider id1 then this is zero if we rearrange this one in terms of with all and that's what we are trying to find that's gonna be equal to id1 times 2 2 id1 because this 2 multiplies and then mu and su x and db over drive square divides and we have all the values available 0 0.2 milli and mu and su x is provided to us that is 400 microampere per voltage square so that's 400 micro and v over drive is provided to us that is 0 0.15 voltage 0 0.15 and if we this is square and if you calculate this value that one comes out to be 400 over 9 and this is going to be the exact with our length ratio we are going to have for the second transistor as well because these two are matched so 409 over 400 over 9 for the w over h2 as well and if you look at the third one and fourth one they are not having equal current flow this is 0 0.4 milliampere here we have 0, uh, 0 0.1 milliampere so this is not an equal current flow and this is not a current mirror therefore the width over length ratio is going to be different we have to calculate for individually for each of them both of them since we know the current uh, other variables are already available mu and cx available v over drive available this is also straightforward like this we have to just rearrange the equation and bring it to this term so now if i want to find out for the three i have to change this w over l3 and id3 that's the only things has to be changed Other, otherwise the equation is going to be the same so instead of bringing the equation again i'm just going to copy this from here w over l and this for the three that is equal to two id three divided by divided by mu and cx v over tri square mu and cox v over tri square okay so let's plug in all the values the current here is 0 0.4 milliampere 0 0.4 milli and mu and cx 400 micro and v over drive is 0 0.15 and then square and calculate this value you will end up getting 800 over 9 okay and uh, you can see how uh, how this wl and uh, id3 are connected the current over current and w over l is directly proportional so it means if this is 0 0.1 this should be first time less than this one because uh, since current and with over length ratio are directly proportional uh, if it's four times lower then this one should be four times or as a, for example uh, if we look at the top one top one each side that's 0 0.2 so this will be half of it so here if you compare this one here we have 400 over 9 here we have 800 over 9 so 400 over 9 is half of it and uh, here this is uh, 0 0.1 this is 1 over fourth of it so it means uh, if you are getting 800 over 9 we should be getting 200 over 9 here so you can compare to figure out whether your answer is right because since this is directly proportional directly proportional it's easy to compare so uh, anyway we, we can calculate the wl over 4 by using the equation same equation 2 id4 in this case mu and cx v over drive square and then 2 times the current through that is 0 0.1 milli and then mu and cx is 400 micro and then v over drive is 0 0.15 square v over drive square is 0 0.15 square and if you calculate you will end up getting 200 over 9 okay and that's all the width over length ratio of all of them and the last one we had to find out what is the input common mode voltage range for the for your design so we had to find out the common mode voltage range and the, they are asking for the range so it means we had to find out the vcm minimum and vcm maximum as a common mode voltage so first let's start with the vcm minimum
PCM minimum. For VCM minimum, what we have to do is we have to just apply KVL on top. So here VDV minus this voltage because there's a voltage drop here, IDRD, and then the voltage V threshold should be the equal to V V minimum. I mean VCM minimum. Actually VCM max. We are looking on top. So <coughs> let's change this one to VCM max. So apply KVL, you will end up deriving the equation VTN plus VDD minus I divided by 2 RD. And then the uh, V threshold is provided to us that is 0 0.4 voltage. And then VDD over here is 0 0.9. And then the current here is I divided by 2 because that's uh, that's half of this I. This is I. I divided by 2 that is you can either say 0 0.4 divided by 2 or you can st straight away write 0 0.2 milli for this term. So I put 0 0.2 milli here. And then RD value. That one we calculated somewhere here. Yeah, that is 4 kilo ohm okay and calculate this one you will end up getting 0 0.5 voltage okay for vcm mix minimum we had you had to load the bottom of it uh, we had to apply kvl on the bottom so here in the bottom we have negative vss and we have the over -try voltage of this and this one if you consider one side, we can take the overdrive voltage of V over drive 2. So that is V over V3 plus also V threshold comes in VTN plus V over drive 2. And minus VSS is minus 0 0.9. And then V over drive 3, V over drive E of equal for all of them. So that is 0 0.15 and then 0 0.4 for the. VTN and then we have, we have a try to also 0 0.15 calculate this value that you will end up getting negative 0 0.2 and therefore we can say the range of the VCM is negative 0 0.2 to 2 voltage to 0 0.5 voltage and that's it for this question I hope you guys found this video helpful thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe my channel see you guys on my next video